Joining us to give us an update on this is our correspondent in Delta State, Austin Azu. Hello, Austin. Thank you for uh, joining us at this time. Now, uh, finally, after what feels like a long wait, that's like uh, five weeks, uh, the governor has visited the community of Okwama. What impact would you say this his visit actually made? Your first good afternoon to you. Uh, let's begin by saying that the governor's visit to Okwama yesterday signaled a lot of uh, activities that um, likely seems to be like peace and normalcy will gradually return to the community and perhaps the inhabitants of Okwama or start uh, making their ways back to their community. But the most surprising thing about the return to their community may likely going to be where would they begin from, where would they start from. From the footages we have seen so far, we saw most all the houses leveled down, the military level the houses down. But from the assurance that the government gave to the, the people of Okwama, didn't suggest that the military would definitely going to go and level the whole community then. So I don't know if those uh, promises made to the government were actually sustained regarding the aspect of no innocent persons will be victimized. Are we in any way saying that the whole community involved in this heinous crime against the nation? I adapt. But however, the residents of uh, Okwama will be so happy to return back to their home. But in a broken pieces, where will they begin from? How would they begin their life again? Because obviously from what we reported earlier on and from what we reported a few, uh, uh, few minutes ago, suggests that the only building standing in the community still remains the church and the community town hall. So it's very, going to be very difficult for the people to find support at the end of the day to begin life again. Now, another aspect that we're going to be looking at again, what about the casualty of those that, you know, that lost their lives in the community because, however, the reports we have been able to get so far indi indicated that uh, 17 soldiers were killed. But what about the innocent ones that were actually, you know, uh, during this process? No one will tell us that uh, someone or property were not destroyed. Let's take away, let's look at the property that we are destroyed now. Who is going to pay for those damages? Who is going to respond to this cause? However, I doubt if this will surely meet the light of the day. But to add to that as well, as some lawyers have actually taken the, the Nigeria military to, uh, they have taken them to court, landed over 200 billion naira damages, expecting that uh, they will respond to their demands. But it's going to be very difficult for the settlers of a poor man to come back and begin life again and meet life where they left life. It's going to be very difficult, and I doubt that they have to start from the scratch. Absolutely like the old woman awesome. who interviewed the uh, one. Yeah. Absolutely, Austin. But then uh, you, you talked about, you know, lawyers uh, taking uh, the army to court. Now, uh, aside that, some of the stakeholders in the community as well have kicked against the panel of inquiry that has been set up by the Nigerian army. What updates do you have on this? Uh, we are still expecting the panel of inquiry to turn in their report. Uh, it's approximately about a week plus since they commenced this investigation. And before the government went there some time uh, uh, yesterday, and the military have been going there on a regular basis, but not, nobody has accompanied them to that place. So it means this time around, I think the yeah, of inquiry has been made open on knowing to many of them that the government has visited the place, the media have assessed the place as well. And to a large extent, we have known the extent of the new look of Okwama at the moment. I think the way forward now is that will be expecting the military to turn, on, turn in their panel of inquiry, uh, their report, and thereafter, the governor has actually promised that he's going to submit his own report to the military as well. But uh, to some extent, it, it didn't go down well with a lot of persons here mm. because they are saying that you cannot be a judge in your own case because the military are being involved and they're the one now conducting this panel of inquiry. So it means that something definitely might likely going to be go are likely going to go wrong in this process. But however, the most important thing in this whole situation is that let the people of Okwama return to their okay, ancestral okay. home and begin life again. All right. Well, thank you so much, Austin Azu, for sharing that update with us. You're most welcome.